This is one of the most famous locomotives in the world. 4472 Flying Scotsman. And the 10am London King's Cross to Edinburgh train, after which it was named, still runs today. The first of Nigel Gresley's Pacifics, 1470 Great Northern, was built in Doncaster in 1922, just before the grouping of the railways in 1923. The Great Northern Railway became part of the London North Eastern Railway, and the third Pacific, built under the LNER, was Flying Scotsman. It was built here in Doncaster in 1923, which makes it 80 year old this year. Um, it was the first engine to officially do 100 mile an hour. In 1928, it pulled the first uh, non-stop flying Scotsman from King's Cross to Edinburgh. Um, it was retired by BR in 1963, and it's been privately owned since. And it's had a, his a history of going around the world as well, hasn't it? It has, yes. It spent some time in America in the late 60s, and then in the late 80s, it spent some time in Australia, where it set a new record for the longest non-stop run. Flying Scotsman would have been scrapped if it had not have been for the intervention of a certain Alan Pegler. Well, it's marvellous seeing it back, you know, where it was built, of course, and even more to the point, looking as it jolly well should look, because, of course, it had this major rebuild between about 1996 and 1999, and they got all that done by July 1999, but only by the skin of their teeth, and it was OK mechanically for running, but they didn't get a chance to do a proper professional paint job, and it's been running for four years with a temporary job, really, and now it's finally got it properly done. And for me, it's absolutely wonderful to see it as it jolly well should be looking. <laughs> Flying Scotsman arrived at Doncaster Works on Thursday the 10th of July, generating much interest for the enthusiasts and workers alike. 4472 came early for a full repaint into LNER Apple Green livery at Waptec's state-of-the-art paint facility. The painting procedure involves sealing off different areas of the loco at a time to allow for the different colours required. 